Hey guys, now here's my Oppo N1 running Color OS at this point. Let's just show you the about phone. Color OS 4.2.2. I've downloaded Cyanogen Mod for it, Cyanogen Mod 10.2. I need to find a hey, why is this not alphabetical? Makes no sense. Uh, anyway. So there is CM 10.2, uh, that's the most recent at the moment, I think it was released on the 26th of December. So I've simply downloaded that, transferred it to the phone, it's plug and play, you plug it in, you'll get an options of uh, charge only, storage or media and guest storage and just, and just drop the file on, simple as that. We're then going to power off. And once that's done it should be volume down while we power back on so now this is the first time I've done this so you're learning with me oh, I wonder if I should have held volume down a bit longer than that probably we might boot back up we're gonna boot back up no we're in we're in recovery just took a while so we get the choice of language looks like we'll have English thank you Install from SD, it's in the download folder, and there it is. Installation package, this operation cannot be restored. Yes, please. Updating, please wait. Installation was successful. Reboot, yes. There we go. And in theory, it should be quite easy. Well, not reversible, but I could go back to ColorOS, just a simple downloading, sticking it on the device, and using it. So, so I've not had to, I've not had to unlock anything. I've not had to flash any custom recoveries. I've literally downloaded a 380 meg file, dropped it on the phone, booted into recovery, and selected it. Basically, that's how simple it's been. And it should, one would hope, work pretty flawlessly, having been designed specifically for this device by the Cyanogen Mod team. We shouldn't get any of the little bugs that you sometimes get with custom ROMs. We would hope it all works flawlessly. So, I've actually been waiting about eight or nine minutes now, just this screen, I think it's in a boot loop. So, let's see if... Uh, we can fix this together. Hopefully holding down the power will will kill this boot up. I think it should be as simple as I'll just need to uh, factory reset the data. It often does happen when flashing ROMs. Um, if you try and flash, especially if you flash one ROM over another, it, will, it won't boot up like that. So I'm not too concerned at this point. Wipe data and cache. Yep. Yep. Thank you. And then just for good measure, I'm going to flash it once more. So there we go, installation successful. I'm going to go back there and just <laughs> better safe than sorry. I'm going to wipe data again. Bear in mind this wipes everything aside from your storage. Um, so your photos and, and videos, they should, they should stay on the device, but text messages, things that are stored within the system probably won't. Well, definitely won't. So do make sure you're backed up um, whatever you need to back up before you do this. Now let's see, hopefully this will boot up within a minute or two. Yep, sure enough, within just a couple of minutes. So I already have a Cyanogen Mod account. Let's get connected and logged in, I'll be right back with you. So I'm logged into my Wi-Fi, I'm logged into Cyanogen Mod, I'm logged into Google. We should now be good to go. Yeah, that's all fine. That's fine. Setup is complete. Ah, it's good to see a more 
Android looking uh, desktop. Uh, there's some updating that will need to do within uh, within the system now. But if we have a look, settings, about phone, Android version 4.3, Synergy Mod version 10.2, build number JWR66Y. Let's just double check for, for updates. It should be, yep. Yeah. And we can see now it's going ahead and it's installing all of my apps from the Play Store. So there we go. Slight hiccup, um, but actually, if you wipe if you wipe the phone first, it would have been done in a matter of maybe four minutes at most. So there we go. Sound your mod on my Oppo N1. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.